All right, we're starting to climb up this wall of water. It's actually working. I did not anticipate this working. Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I am back in Stormworks, and I'm gonna be checking out this British frigate. So yeah guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so here I am on board, and as you can see, the sails actually work, so that's super cool. Now, let's go ahead and let's get underway. Alright, so if you press space, it opens up the sails, and we should be moving. Yep, we are moving, very slowly, but we're getting there. So if I close the sails, I can turn better, and then, once I'm lined up, I can open up the sails again, and we should be good. Now, we do have cannons, as you can see, and they work. Let me show you. All right, so we're going to launch the starboard cannons. There we go. There we are. That is sick. We did take some damage, but it doesn't look too bad. Let's actually go inside. There we go. It's a little bit cramped down here, but you would expect that from a ship of this era. Now, over to my left, I do have a button of death, so... We don't really want to use that right now. First, I'm going to check out the ship, and then we'll go probably sink it or whatever that button does. So, yeah. So, first and foremost, let's go down here. As you can see, we've got cannons. And going this way, we've got the uh, mast going down through the deck. And actually, back here, we've got a room. Let's check that out. Let's hop over this way. So, we've got another cannon. And we've got a desk. So, we can just sit down and enjoy the voyage. Oh, look at that. We've got a painting, and this is actually really nice. The lights are hanging from the ceiling, and they swing around. So that's a nice touch, but let's go ahead and let's go down even further. All right, so here we go. Now we're down deep inside the ship. Now I'm going to assume that these are beds, but I'm not quite sure. So if anyone wants to correct me in the comments, please feel free. Over here, we've got some uh, meat hanging from the, uh, I would imagine, the hooks or chains. And then we've got rum. As well as more cannons, of course. Going even further down into the ship, we've got some more barrels. And these all move around, by the way. So, that's probably why the ship lags a bit. But it's not too, too bad because it's not a huge ship. But anyways, we've got more of these, what I would assume are beds. And then, of course, we've got some more rum. And then, what's this? Oh, I would imagine that that is a chamber pot. Anyways, going from there... Let's go down here. We've got some more barrels, and that is pretty much it. It's a relatively small ship, but it's jam-packed with details, and it looks really, really cool. And as always, a download link will be in the description if you want to check this out. Now, since all of this stuff is floating, I wonder, when the ship goes down, will it all float off? That actually will be really cool to see. There we go, and there we are. We are set to go. All right, I have now stopped the ship, and now it's time to press the button of death. So in three... Two, one. All right, there we go. Oh my gosh, a barrel got sent flying. All right, so we're starting to tilt over, which of course is concerning. Oh, wow. That's a lot of water. Okay, we really can't do anything now. Oh my gosh, this is really bad. The ship is rolling on its side completely. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yep, this is my end. It's very constricted in this space. Oh, here we go. Let's swim up. And the stern is climbing out of the water. And there it goes. All right, I have got to do that again because that went super quick. I barely had time to look at anything. So, yeah, let's respawn it. All right, so let's go again. There we go. Look at that. That is so cool to see the barrels just get sent into the air like that. Oh, yeah, that's not good. There's a bit of a fire below. And we don't have fire extinguishers. Yep, I think we're going over. Yep, this is it. We're going down. Oh, my gosh. And to the bottom it goes. Now, I want to sink this again, but I just want to use waves. So right now, the wind is around 25 to 26%, so let's double that. It's now up to 46%, and it's doing well. It's probably because we're in shallow water, but still, good job so far. However, will it survive double of this? Let's find out. Let's bring it up to 86. There we are. Oh, that's a little concerning. But still holding on. All right, let's go to 100%. Oh, gosh. Things are sliding. That's not good. Oh, yeah. This is it. All right, abandoned ship. So, yeah, once the weight shifts over in the ship as well, that's not going to be good. And it's gone. There we go. So, that was pretty cool. Now, I'm going to sink it one more time. And I'm just going to push it to the extremes. All right, so I've got it spawned in again. And as you can see, I've got the night lighting on. 
and it looks really cool. However, there is something in the distance heading towards us. That would be a tsunami, and actually, don't quite see it. Hold on. Okay, the small island is disappearing, so I'm gonna have to say it's over in that direction, which means we need to turn the ship. All right, I'm gonna switch it today because I need to see that tsunami. It's been a while since I've seen a tsunami in Stormworks, so this is actually pretty impressive. Just a wall of water making its way towards me. Here we go. All right, we're starting to climb up this wall of water. How far can we make it before we either capsize or go straight through the wave? It's actually working. I did not anticipate this working. Holy cow. Our cargo is barely holding on. It's starting to fall a little bit in there. And there we are. We are over the wave. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Now we're going down like a roller coaster. Oh no. No, 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 no. This is bad. I think we've taken on a bit of water. So, yeah. It kind of survived. It went over the wave, just took on too much water, and then, well, as you can see, went to the bottom. So, yeah. Once again, a download link will be in the description if you want to check out this build. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. And I'll see you all next time, guys. Goodbye.